Today is the day my new home's foundation is filled with sand or clay using small JCB. Foundation area is around 580 square feet and 20 lots of clay was needed to fill it. Twenty lots of Mazda or Aishar was needed, that is the bigger type of mini truck. As our location is prone to water rise during rain etc, we built the foundation high by around 4 feet, hence that much sand was needed. It is important to fill sand along with the water so that the sand is packed well. If sand is just filled without water, later the sand will sit down and will affect the flooring. But practically it is not possible to pour enough water using normal water pump hose. So the way out is post filling properly fill water and make the filled sand evenly settle. Another way out is same day sand is filled keep tanker water ready so abundant water can be pumped in. If possible, that can be arranged. Owner of the house to take care of it. As the danger signs of improper sand filling arises months later, others may not be much concerned about it. Also, not properly filling will cause problems while stay or jack is set during sealing concreting. The jack or stay bar can go down if no strong foundation. Another point is maximum don't let the JCB enter the top of your foundation. Why? Because it can break the edges of the foundation. If things are low, let the JCB do the filling from each side of the foundation.
Another point is let the JCB put the sand above the top level of the foundation. Why? Because later when water is filled, the sand will sit down. More sand will have to compensate the sat down sand, otherwise again you will have to put a lot of sand to flatten the floor sand. So many useful only videos in this channel. Continue subscribed. Doubts if any, please ask either me or any of the expert viewers can answer it and help all of us.